saying like we're tired of straight white men in society is really as like explicit as it sounds I think it's just contributing to a general idea that like we're tired of straight white men having they're, they're tired of straight white men. Replace the white with any other ethnicity. If it sounds racist, it's probably because it is. The power and everything, you know, and it's like we as women of color, as like students at this university, like we are very much capable of certain things and we don't have the same privileges that are offered to straight white men. <laughs> uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that lady, that young lady looks like she's Indian American. Indian Americans perform better than white Americans in literally every way in the United States. Many, many CEOs of Fortune 500 companies are Indian Americans. They're incredibly successful people. So, I don't know what you're saying here, lady. And I've been hearing that from a lot of the ladies that I've been talking to today. Talk to me about what some of those privileges are that, you know, straight white men have that you don't have. Talk to me about that. Um, I think in a I don't really know. Have you ever experienced like a specific oh, no. instance? I don't know, but I also need to go. I know, I, sorry, I, I do really need sorry. to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> the the slow zoom in on the on the face. Um I I don't know the answer to this. But guess what? I gotta go. Maybe you do gotta go, but what a convenient time that you have to leave on. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just uh that that couldn't have been more perfect. The 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 zooming on the face is always is always perfect. Let's see if the next group of students can do a little bit better. Talk to me about some of those privileges that white people have that you guys don't have. Um, I would just be like, okay. Uh, I guess I'll start with I am a black queer person. Uh, if I were to just walk amongst the streets, I'm also like women like ident. All right, look very feminine if I were to walk across the streets in the dark as a black queer female present. I don't know if you, you see this person and think you're like gay or queer. I, I don't, the, it's not like something that stands out to me, I would say. Being person, I would not feel safe uh, because I feel like I would be pretty targeted. But if I were a white cis man, I don't think I'd be like the type of person someone would come up to and hate crime because that's just not what happens. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> the the uh, uh, Jesse Smollett popping up on the screen. So she's saying because she's a woman and she's a person of color that she would be more worried about a hate crime on the street versus if she was just like a straight white dude. Um, one, I just gotta say, I mean, this is really sad how these people view themselves, how they view the world and all of that. But also, you know, if, if we are talking about like a, a tax, when it comes to violent tax on people, the overwhelming majority are intra-racial, meaning white on white, black on black, right? Um, however, if we were to look at interracial attacks, violent attacks on other people, you, you have a much greater chance of being attacked as a white person by a black person than a black person by a white person. Those are just pretty basic statistics, right? And again, I will repeat, the overwhelming majority of violent attacks on people are intra-racial. A big problem that we're seeing here is a lot of these students aren't being educated with the correct information. They're not being given the facts. She probably is genuinely afraid to walk on the streets. And and let's let's put the jokes aside. That's incredibly sad that she's being misled that she's being brainwashed to believe that that's the reality of the situation when in fact the data and just reality doesn't necessarily reflect that worldview